What's going on guys, Andrew Billick Hockey here back with another video. Today I'm going to be going through my NHL jersey collection. There's I think maybe one OHL jersey in here. Um, I've got plenty of other OHL Guelph Storm jerseys that won't be in this video because um, they're in other places in the house and they'll probably be showed in a different video but I have one there and I have a bunch of NHL ones that I'll show you. I've done this video before but since that video my collection has grown. There's a ton of jerseys in here so hopefully you guys will like this. If you're new make sure you subscribe I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers as well. If you want to buy a shirt uh, with my logo on it, you can. There's a link down below. Uh, there's a code right now to get like 15% off, I think, right now. So hopefully you guys will grab one of those. But let's get right into the jerseys. They're all below me. It's going to kind of be a little scattered. So um, I'm sorry if uh, I have to keep reaching down to get the jerseys. Um, of course, there's some behind me. Um, you can see there's like a little bit of blue like over there um like sticking out maybe i can move the camera just a bit yeah that's a, a mark andre flurry jersey and then there's two uh gretzky jerseys there so those of course are hanging up so i didn't want to bring those down you guys can still see those the flurry one you can see right there uh, is a winter classic jersey um and then of course the gretzky ones there this as far as i know is my first ever uh, jersey and of course it's a Leafs jersey with Andy 96 the year I was born on there with the C so that is cool the first ever um, jersey I ever had uh, it's obviously very very tiny um, but of course I have to keep it in the collection the next one that I'll show you guys and some of this will be scattered that are newer jerseys and older jerseys and stuff like that uh, just based off the fact that I don't want it to get too easy because you guys have seen some of my newer jerseys but if you are new um, this collection will be fresh to you this is another Leafs jersey uh, when I was pretty young again this one's kind of like a screen printed kind of uh, jersey with uh, stitched numbers on the back of course Ed Belfour um, arguably, arguably my inspiration when it came to playing hockey and it is signed it's in it's like faded there um regardless i did meet him i've said this in other videos and in an audi james's uh video i have said that i didn't uh said that i met him as well um and yeah that was one of the coolest experiences of my life and having his jersey in the collection is super cool um this one is relatively new to everybody nobody's seen this yet because i just actually got this um my mamere uh, my french grandmother um, actually gave me a jersey that she had won in an auction uh, a while ago and it's a uh, Steve Sullivan signed Predators jersey there's a Reebok one as you can see there it's got his autograph hold on let me just put the number up there with uh, an inscription for 2011 that's I guess that's when she bought it or got it at the auction but yeah it's a Preds jersey he's got an A on there oh my goodness why is this doing that there again on the back so that's a relatively new piece to my collection so that's super cool um, very happy to have that in the collection and as well there was another jersey that was added to the collection because I forgot I even owned this um, a lot of people will probably be like yo why did you get this jersey but I was very young and I was into goalies quite a bit Jonas Gustafsson and this one's like printed the front like it's a legit jersey but uh, I got it printed on because that was like the fastest option and of course I was really young but Jonas Gustafsson wasn't the biggest fan of him but enough to have his jersey again I was into goalie so had to have that uh, this was the OHL jersey I was talking to you guys about um, I was in Kitchener for a lot of the Memorial Cup and OHL finals run for the Rangers I was at the game where they won the OHL uh, finals and I was at the game where they lost the uh, Memorial Cup I was pretty much at every single game that year no name on the back but it's a very small jersey, Kitchener Rangers, OHL jersey. I have a lot of Guelph Storm jerseys, but um, I had to get one of these too because I was at the the run the whole time and I wanted to support a Kitchener in that situation. Um, another jersey here is a Ducks jersey. Um, this one's really cool. I really like this jersey. This one's got like the, the nice colors, and of course that logo is basically iconic to me. Um, nothing on the back there, but nice jersey. Uh, the next one is another jersey that people would be like really but uh, I went to a Leaf game and I wanted an Eric Lindros Leafs jersey and this one is another legit jersey I bought this um, at the game it's coho went to a game and I, we were there and I was like oh you know they're saying I can't get a jersey whatever and I was like okay and then when we left I'm like, they're like damn okay we'll get you a Lindros jersey and I was super happy to get that even though it was uh, short-lived <laughs> 
Uh, I was a fan of them though. Uh, next is a relatively new jersey. It's a Reebok one. I was very excited. I have an unboxing video of this that did quite well. I think it's at like 8,000 views or something. When I opened it, there was no name on the back because it was a fresh jersey. And then I got a name put on the back later on and it's Austin Matthews. I've showed you guys this before. The blank one. And then I showed you guys when I updated it, I believe. But, you know, you got to have an Austin Matthews jersey. Uh, the next one is another Leafs jersey. This one is the older logo, but this one was Morgan Riley. This was one of my Christmas gifts because I was a huge fan of him, still am. Um, could be a captain, I don't know if it's not Tavares or Matthews. Uh, just a fantastic looking jersey. I know this wasn't my favorite Leaf logo. I always said I didn't really like this one as much, but definitely a big fan of Morgan Riley, and I'll wear this jersey from time to time because you gotta support Morgan Riley, of course. Uh, next up is a St. Pat's Leaf jersey. This is one of the best jerseys I've like ever owned. I really, really like this jersey. Um, it is a Reebok one. If the Leafs do another concept St. Pat's type of jersey, because of course they, they were the St. Pat's at one point, but uh, they only wore this for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I really, really like this. If they get another one, like I was saying, uh, for Adidas, I will be buying one for sure. No name on the back, but it will be customized very soon. A lot of jerseys that aren't customized here will get done eventually. Uh, it's just, it's kind of expensive, but uh, I'm, I'm on my way to getting them all done. And much like this one, there's no name on the back. This was uh, another really, really nice, well done jersey. Um, this one, what was this one? The Centennial Classic? I, there's so many damn classic, Winter Classic, Outdoor Classic, Justin Trudeau versus Trump uh, Classic. There's just uh, too many classics. Um, by the way, I hate Trudeau and Trump, so leave politics out of this video, but I just, that was the first thing that came to mind. I'm not sure why, but um, this is a really nice jersey. I really like the logo. I just completely lost my train of thought. That was terrible. Um, it's Reebok. Again, no name, but this will be um, updated as well. I'm going to get some names on there. Um, I'm also a firm believer of if this person, like, with a name I'm getting on the back, I won't get, like, John Tavares because he didn't play when they wore that jersey. Like, I'm a big believer in that. Uh, this is an NHL All-Star Game jersey, I believe. This was for this year, so technically the 2018 um, all-star jerseys um, or wait was it no it's considered is it considered the 2017 one I think it's man I'm, I'm losing my train of thought maybe this is the 2017 one I can't remember but it was this past season I guess um, Austin Matthews Adidas uh, was this the first Adidas jersey I bought no this is the second one I got I think but yeah I really like this one of course it's the Atlantic one but I really like the numbers too, like the, the blue and the white there. I think it looks really nice. But this jersey just pops and I wear it in videos a lot of the time when I'm not specifically talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs. And uh, I love wearing it. This was the first Adidas jersey I ever got. And it was sent in by a viewer named Mark. Really do appreciate that. Uh, it's a Connor Brown Adidas uh, jersey. One of my favorite players on the team. Very underrated when it comes to his skill and his grit. Uh, Definitely a player that the Leafs are going to have for a long time. Hopefully, I guess I should say. Uh, and I do, I should say too, for the Leaf jerseys, I love the Honor Pride Courage um, on there as well. Fantastic jersey. It's an authentic Adidas one. Really a big fan of those ones. Um, again, I told you guys I have a bunch of Leaf jerseys. But this is the Toronto Arenas one. And this one is of Patrick Marlowe. Uh, I actually got this jersey for $80. Um, I was at home. My uh, sister let me know that these were on sale. And I sent the money over because I was not at the game. And uh, I bought this one. Really do like the customization or detail, I guess you should say, on the, the numbers and stuff like that. So really nice jersey. Got it for a good price. And again, another Adidas one that I like. Um, gosh, the, ta the hangers are all over the place here. Um, this one is another <laughs> Leafs jersey, outdoor classic, whatever classic this one was. Um, this one was for the one versus the Capitals. I always forget the name of this one, but Mitch Marner right there. Again, another Adidas authentic jersey. Uh, I, I'm starting to really like the white jerseys. I think that they're really nice. Um, but again, I'm, I'm trying to get the big three. So one of those Leaf jerseys that don't have a name on the back will probably be William Nylander for at least one of them. I'm, I'm leaning towards the St. Pat Pat's one. Um, the next jersey I have here is a Reebok Colorado Avalanche one that again has no name but will be customized soon enough um, I, I know I'm not an, a huge Avalanche fan I mean I'm a Leafs fan of course you can tell but 
I do really like uh, a lot of players from the Avalanche, and of course I'm probably going to get Nate McKinnon on the back of this one. Uh, big fan of the guy, and once I can get his name on there, hopefully I can get it signed or something like that, and hopefully uh, me and Audie will be able to get that one signed and fill, and hopefully uh, we'll have a good time doing that if we can uh, make that happen. The next one is another Reebok. This one is an Arizona Coyotes jersey. Probably going to get Oliver Ekman Larson on the back of this one because this one is also blank. Really, really like this jersey. I'm super excited to watch them this season. I love this logo. I think they're going to be an underrated team. I get a lot of opportunities to watch them um, as their games are on pretty late most of the time. So definitely will be watching them. And another team that I'm able to watch quite a bit is the Calgary Flames. Now, I, I'm not going to lie. I was probably going to go with the red one. But now that I got this white one with those red laces right there, I freaking love this jersey. Uh, Reebok blank, probably going to get Johnny Hockey, Johnny Gaudreau on there. But I really do enjoy this white jersey. Another team I get to watch a lot. Hopefully can get Gaudreau on there and get it signed. And uh, again, I'm just going to mention this before I show the last jersey. If I missed one, I'm, I probably did. Like, let's be real. I have a lot of jerseys, and that's not the gloat or anything. It's just... I'm an airhead sometimes, so if I if I didn't show a jersey in here, maybe in a year or two, or maybe less than a year, depending on how many jerseys I buy, um, holy, pray for my wallet, but if I do buy more jerseys, there will be another update video where I'll show you again, but this is my newest jersey, John Tavares, Leafs jersey, I had to get it the moment he signed, the day he signed, I got it from Cool Hockey, um, I just, I love this jersey. I didn't have a white, um, like, Leafs jersey. I have the, like, the outdoor whatever game that they did against uh, Washington. The Marner one that I showed you guys. But just, like, an actual just team jersey that they're going to wear on the further away games and stuff like that. I had to get one. I knew I was eventually going to buy one. And when Tavares signed, I was like, this is a perfect opportunity. So, let me know what you guys think about this video. What was your favorite jersey in the collection? If you guys have your own jersey collection, if you make videos, make a video in, res in response to this. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, YouTube used to have a feature a very long time ago where you could actually click respond to video and you could respond with your own video and it'd show up in the dis like near the comments and stuff like that so you could click on other people's videos. That's something I really wish YouTube would go back to because I could say, hey, post a video response, boom, it's right there so people could watch it. Um, but if you do end up posting a video, uh, you could probably just say in the comments, hey, I made a jersey collection video, uh, check it out. And if it gets held for approval, because sometimes it does that, I'll approve it because, like, I don't really care. Like, I don't, like, over-promote and post, like, ten times in my comment section. But if you post once, I'm more than likely I'm going to like it and be like, hey, check it out. Uh, I want to see your guys' jersey collection. If you don't make videos, send it to me on Twitter or something, like a picture of all your jerseys, and I'll retweet it or something. Um, let, let's do that. Let's collaborate. Um, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers. I've talked for too long. Check out my shirts down below if you'd like to buy one. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.